What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Robert Johnson. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey. I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's episode that we got for y'all, so let's just get straight to it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton, New Jersey, and I have been for over the last 17 and a half years. And don't forget to become a subscriber on both of our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio, and also our other page, at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as follow us on Instagram, at Prison Audio, and at ShawJohn1222. That's S-H-A-W-J-O-H-N-1222. So today is the episode that I love doing, as always, when it comes to the question and comments that people leave. So definitely got a lot of them that I want to respond to today for this episode. So I'm going to get right into it. The first one is from the first Tyree King video. So you got user hyphen QK60 D4VS4V. Say, so yeah, that's what makes it a prison. It sucks. Right, so y'all know I don't be doing the curse words at the inside there. But, uh, yeah, you absolutely right responding to what Joe has said. Prison definitely sucks, right? Definitely you are the pride of your liberties and everything. So exactly what make it is. But to me, I utilize it as motivation because I don't ever want to get content or comfortable in this place. So to me, even though it's bad as it is, it's just a reminder on a daily basis that I got to continue to do the right thing so I can get up out of here. So that's just for me. So the next comment is from B-U-L-T-A-C-O hyphen Q-L-2-P-I says, do the crime, do your time. You can do it. You're the Tiger King. So I guess, you know, you just basically saying that if he was abusing animals and all that stuff, then he should be able to do the time. So I get, I get what you're saying. I definitely get what you're saying. That apply in certain circumstances at the end of the day, you know. But, you know, everybody got their own journey. While they're in prison, you got to make the best of it the best way you can. The next person is Baby Girl Raven. Says, well, he's definitely not lying about the food. My ex-husband was in the Navy on the USS Harry S. Truman. And the food boxes I got to see says for military and prison use only, not for humans consumption. Uh, you absolutely right. You absolutely right, cause you know people that work in the kitchens in a lot of different prisons, not just here, but just places. Period. In the uh, in prisons, they all see a lot of boxes that say uh, not for human consumption. So that is just crazy, because I feel like they experimented certain food for military in prison like and that's like the craziest thing so it's definitely food that that that's definitely says that the next one polytronic digital he's delusional i will make him view his animal cages he abused the tigers in every effing day stop enabling this vermin with these phone calls cut it off all right so i'll get your take that you don't like tiger king that's cool but at the end of the day on prison audio, we gave everybody a chance to uh to call up and, and say what they got to say, and that's what makes it interesting. It ain't no right or wrong of you having your opinion. You're going to have some people that that's going to feel one way. You're going to have some people that feel another way, but that's the whole point of it. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. They can give their opinion how they want to, and that's just what it is, you know. But at the end of the day, just because your opinion might differ from Everybody else don't mean that we're not going to allow him to speak his piece from what he want to say while he's in prison. So, you know, we try to be impartial on everybody that come up here to do an interview with. The next uh, video is from the Trenton Prison 7-Wing video, and we got SPS Mac 88 And he said, I was in 7-Wing 4 here. That place is terrible. So I agree with you 100%. I did one little stretch back there for a year back in like 2013, 2014. But also on top of that, I had one time or well, twice did quarantine back there. So that's that's all that is. But, you know, that place back there sucks. The next person, you got Bob hyphen MB6UB, said New Jersey, the state with the most gritty cities and by far in both quantity and quality, what other state has 10 cities that are crime-infested like New Jersey has? 
you definitely have New Jersey that got a lot of different cities that is, is crazy. But I think that's in a lot of different states as well because it's just how it is. You have different cities that's going to have high crime rates, right? You watch that on a lot of different shows. So that happens all over. The next, uh, we got the other videos. You got Great Lakes, 4753. And they had sat there and said, do most prisoners get regular visitors or do your fellow cellmates become your de facto family? So the thing about that is, is, you get people that get visits. You probably, if you go to visit, you probably see the same people every weekend for visits. And it's like, in a sense, people that you've been gelling with for 5, 10, 15 years on a time kind of do become your family. Like in the prison I'm, and I'm at, we don't really have double lock cells, like majority of cells are single cells. So you you want to tear with these people for months and years on a time, especially if you stay out of trouble, stay out of the way. So you want to be there and around these people. Some people you're going to gravitate to, some people you're not. You know, some people you're going to be cool with and some people you're not. So that's just how it is. But a lot of people, I think is what, over 1,200 people are here. A lot of people don't get visits. You get the same handful of people every Saturday and Sunday when we get our visits. The next person is Irish Logic. Why are you letting a dirty jailbird have a platform? Let him rot and know I won't check out his socials. He shouldn't be allowed. He shouldn't allow, be allowed have any. Okay, so right here, uh, I'm assuming that you're talking about me, but you know, it is what it is, right? You can't stop somebody from having a platform just because you feel that a person should be in prison. If you don't know the story behind why a person in prison, then it's something that you should look into and, and not pass judgment. Like I was saying in the episode before to somebody comment, you should never criticize a person or pass judgment if you never walked in their shoes to understand why their present situation is the way it is. And when it comes to a lot of people, a lot of people in this world, that live in urban communities or live in suburban communities or sometimes one choice away from being on this same side that some of us as in prison is. And then some people do make choices, they just happen to not go to prison. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. You don't necessarily got to check out the uh, other social media platform. You know, at the end of the day, you know, nobody ain't going to lose sleep over that. You don't try to do what you want to do. you grow. grown. But, you know, you just keep positive energy. And your opinion is heard, so it's all good. You know, no hard feelings. We don't catch feelings over here about stuff like that. So the next one with the Tire King video from b Rally number one. Damn, bro, this is dope. I respect the hustle 100%. Well, shout out to you. Definitely trying to just do positive things while I'm in here. And that's the thing. If I could do positive things one step at a time while I'm in this prison, you know, Slowly but surely, we bring in the inside of prison to the outside world because there's a lot of stuff that goes on that people don't know about. So that's why we do what we do to give people the perspective of what really happened in prison. And if people have been listening long enough, you know, I'm impartial. I, I call a spade a spade. I don't just decide stuff one way just because I'm on this side. I just call it straight down the middle of how it is. And people that have been listening for some time now – understand that and that's the best thing about it you know just trying to say just trying to stay positive and do the right things so you got anthony legend 10 three three one four three said thanks well shout out to you you know definitely try to uh just continue to just do the positive things man so definitely appreciate you for tuning in anthony the next person osteen one zero three two said this is crazy my guy got a my God, got to respect the effort for real. Absolutely. Uh, you know, on a daily basis, it's going to just continue to just do the best that we can under the circumstances, man, to do the right thing. So the next person comment is from Kenner Tubby Son. And the interesting thing about this is we got a comment from this person, and then we got some people that replied to what this person said. So I'm going to get into the comment first. It said, how the are felons calling each other and the – calling each other in the phone for YouTube interviews. 
How does a felon get a YouTube channel and maintain it while in prison? How does any of this make sense? All right, well, first off, I'm quite sure that you must be new on the channel or have listened to this episode, and I just spoke about this before, how we are able to do YouTube interviews with each other, whether I'm in prison or somebody else is in prison, is I have my bro Mike behind the scenes that sit there and takes my call and take their call at the same time. So this is how a lot of times that me and another person talk or anybody that I interview from being in prison, whether they're in the streets or prison at all. And if I can't get them at the same time that I'm getting them on the phone, then I sit there and send in all the stuff I need to say, and then he asks the person questions, and then that's what comes editing. You know, that's uh, technology right there. And you said, how does we get a YouTube channel? You know, shout out to my bro Mike. He the one that started prison audio over a year ago. You know, we linked up, and we've been, we've been doing this, and he maintained it. So I'm really just the person that just hosted and just a part of it, the experience. So you asked how that would make any sense. Uh, I'll explain it for you right there. So now I'm going to get into the uh, replies to the people to Kendra Tubby son. The first person is Patrick Fixgibbon. 2888. Hustle knows no boundaries. Shout out to you, because that's the fact, right? If I always say this. If you can think it up in your mind and you can do it in your hands, and a lot of people don't get it, they just want people just to be in prison, you just stuck in prison and you're not doing anything. So at the end of the day, if you got a creative and innovative mind, you'll be able to break these boundaries, including these walls. The next person, Paul Bowman, 1762. Why is it such a big deal to you? Because they are the ones doing years. What do you want to happen to them? Sit in the cell for 23 hours a day. And that's that's what I'm basically saying, right? If I don't understand why it would be a big deal to people that we able to do a platform while I'm in a joint. You know, I think it's, it's interesting because I'm a person in a joint that's interviewing people that's in the street or that's in prison too. Where have you ever seen that happen at? Ever. And then I'm giving you informative information, not just about myself or my case, but about prison in general or stuff that's happening in other prisons. So I think a person that feels some type of way should be more appreciative because I'm giving you what's really happened. And like you said, uh, people just want us to sit in the cell. So you want us to sit in the cell to do times where we don't rehabilitate ourselves? Like, that's the thing. Y'all always talking about, yo, people need to re be be rehabilitated before they come home, so that's how you take the steps. The next person, uh, the Gooseman305, says, I heard my grandparents talk about something called three-way calls. Absolutely. That's exactly one of the ways you could do it, three-way calls, merge calls, and you can just make it happen. You know, got to utilize uh, what the prison give us to the best advantage. The next person said, uh, is Hot Rider 47 they trying to rehabilitate them to keep them cool. And I agree with you, you know. To me, I just try to do the positive things. And I bring some people in that's in this prison, too, so they could do episodes. You can hear about their stories, too. But, you know, not everybody's on the same type of time I'm on. Unfortunately, some people don't want to rehabilitate themselves. But I'm one of the ones that, that do. And I'm not saying that to say that I'm above anybody else that's in prison. I'm just saying that I make a conscious choice ever since I've been in prison, to do better each day, period, just to, to uh, grow better, you know, grow my relationship with God, grow my, grow my relationship with my family, my kids, and just, just be a better person, period. And like I said, I'm just giving informative information. I've been in prison 17 and a half years, and I literally got one charge for something that it was somebody else. Like I explained this before, I had wrote one of my friends that was in another prison, and he was hot in the prison system, so they gave me a charge for it at the same time. So I stay out the way, man. I stay out the way, trying to do positive things. And, you know, they're just the beginning because once I get home, you know, it's going to be even more, even more better. All right, so we got some more comments and some other videos. Elin Victo 3713 says, I did one month on craft and then I went to Rawway and I did my time and came and come home and come home now I'm rich so shout out to you I don't know who you are but shout out to you you know you understand what it's like 
and you said now you're rich. So definitely shout out to you that you was able to turn this situation into something positive and you was able to monetize. Well, you know, you listen to the show, man, hit me up. We got to chop it up. You know, I know some things about financial literacy, but you already saying that you're rich, so you can let me know some things that I could do to help me get to where you at. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely always feel that like everybody can reach success in, in financial freedom at the same time, so definitely hit me up. Uh, the next person, big three reds. I was incarcerated at Jones Farm, and my detail was at Trenton State Prison. It was a very intimidating place compared to where I was at. My place didn't even have fences back in 2011, and the guard that watched us at Trenton State Prison didn't even stay outside with us. And when and we were in charge of cleaning the garage and intake, and, man, the stories we heard were nuts. Thanks for the stories. Yo, I, I can understand, right? We come across some people from Jones Farm every once in a while that come here that do exactly what you're doing. They, that's still happening. But people don't understand the difference from being in a minimum security prison or medium security prison, halfway house, or anything other than a maximum security prison because it's levels to prison system, and it's completely different of what we got to go through where we're at. So the story that you hear with stuff that happened is it, real. It's definitely real. It's definitely real. So uh, I understand where you're coming from. And then the last person you got to com- comment from is Sahara uh, Ussery6799 says, well, they are supposed to name a library after each president. So first you put Trump in a prison, then you name that prison's law library after Trump. A very efficient solution. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely funny. So, you know, I didn't know they were supposed to be naming every prison after all, each president. But I'm saying you make a valid point. Like I said, I love everybody's opinions. And that's why I, I like about doing these podcasts. Everybody is going to have their own unique opinion. And like I say, even people that might have negative comments, I don't ever take it personal. So if you feel you want to say something negative, go ahead and say, I do not take it personal. I promise you I don't. I promise you I don't. You know, because no matter what you do in life, I done learned at a young age, no matter what you do, you're going to have some people that like you and some people that, that don't. You can be the most respectful person that never been in prison and did everything right in your life. And guess what? You're still going to have some people that got something to say about you. So I understand how it is of people having a comment. Some people feel that we should be in prison, whether you you got a self-defense case like me or not, or if you did the crime or not, some people are going to feel that way and some people are not. Some people are going to be in the middle. They're going to feel like, okay, if you did this, then it shouldn't be as how it is where well, you shouldn't get as much time as they gave. So you're always going to have different perspectives and that's what i love about doing this podcast like i said i always appreciate it so keep sending your comments and questions and you can do that by calling 1-800-366-0911 that's 1-800-366-0911 or send an email to stories at prison com. that's s-t-o-r-i-e-s the at sign p-r-i-s-o-n a-u-d-i-o.com and don't forget to become a subscriber on both our youtube channels at Prison Audio, and our other channel, at Sean Robert Johnson. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, too, uh, at Prison Audio and at Shaw John 1222 That's S-H-A-W-J-O-H-N-1222. So thank you again, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host, giving you prison news for the who's guy. Stay tuned for the next episode coming soon. Everybody have a good day or night.